All right, so picking up where we left off on the last video, I did realize what I did wrong. The design is completely different than what it was. So we need to go ahead and make the design changes and then rerun the batch. So uh, what we're gonna do is we're gonna come over here and I've already started adding a pump, but I'm gonna go ahead and uh, start over from scratch. So first um, we wanna go ahead and, and change this too. So uh, really AV04 is going to be down here and as far as like you know changing the way that looks we can you know obviously you know edit that um, but when it comes down to it we should be able to just flip it like this and we'll see um, AV05 is actually whoop AV05 is actually up here so let's grab hold of AV05 and bring it up here this needs to be over here and then we take away this and then we will reuse this and then this right here we're going to take away the left transition so that it goes directly into the, to there and then we're going to take this and put it down here so the caffeine went straight into the actual tank so we can actually see that transpire right so look, looks like we're not quite equal there we go looks a lot better now uh, let's take this over here this is AV05 uh, now when it comes to this we're going to obviously edit this as well uh, being that this is not a transition right here this is a straight piece so we want to put this down copy paste to here and what we're trying to do, um, and again, I'm going to put the pump right here, is what, and I'm also going to put a pump right here too. So just keep in mind, this is no longer going to be needed. Uh, we will still use this stuff right here. So let's actually go up here to tools, symbol, factory symbol, symbol, drag our pump in there. Um, we can change the orientation of our pump. We can obviously change like what it what side it goes on. Uh, at this point, we want to get the size right. So we want to come in here and make sure the sizing is pretty much close to our our piping, and that's going to be what's important here. So that is a still a little bit off, and I think that is a lot better. So now we need to go back up here, make it and again a union change the union name to pump 01 and then that gives it then we're going to use the fill color okay so I do not I don't have the tags in here yet so let's go ahead and add the tags just browse device and come over here and browse the system um, again this is going to be pump one and then we want and this is a servo so we want actual movement so we can say uh, we can say let's look at the actual code right here and look at the motors motor routine um, I just want to make sure this MAJ right here is actually IP so that's what we'll do We'll come over here and we'll look for that uh, pump. Let's say it was pump. I think it was pump to MAJ. And then I want to make sure the IP is in there. We want to do the same thing for pump one. Same thing for pump one. Make sure the IP is in there. Add that in there. And then, or we can add the whole tag, to be honest with you. We can add the whole thing. Um, so let's add that and come over here and let's add the whole tag right here to use this and then add that in here just like that so we added our pumps now all right so we hit apply and then now we can come over here and pick our pump animation again we want to pick our tag and come over here to our system this is going to be pump one maj and we want to use that again i want to change my color to a color I've used. Now, again, this is good because it saves the colors, right? 
and then green is obviously going to be running so that puts that there um, we can come over here and copy this and paste it here drag this up where it belongs and show that it's feeding the pump now obviously this stuff should probably be right in here somewhere so let's let's actually make sure this looks just like it should right you generally don't feed when you're feeding a pump uh, you know you want to make sure that it's fed the right way all right so um, when that said and actually let's take this over just a hair so that we get out of that curve I want to get out of the curve right there and we'll move this and I'm moving it with the arrow key so just to keep that in mind I'm not trying to move it with my mouth because that would obviously not get me my goal um, it would just take it would be harder right so I mean I could do it but it would be a little bit harder all right so what we need to do here is we copied our pump we're going to use the pump right here and we're going to do the same thing here so we need to be a little bit lower because I need this to be at the same level as this so let's drag this down and the good side to it is we're going to feed the pump or we're going to feed this valve right here that we've already made and then this is going to be AVO we can put AVO 3 up here so it's easier to read now AVO 4 and then that means our pump down here so we could probably lower this and then we're going to have to edit this anyway so I'm, I'm not really concerned with that too much we'll come over here and edit this a little bit all right so back to what we're doing here this is going to be the full to the full to the pump itself this is going to come down here to the pump itself again a uh, little bit over to get out of that curve again and it's just a matter of moving this where we can see it so we have our two pumps we have our our AVO1 AVO2 AVO3 AVO5 uh, we don't have what we do need is copy paste this is AVO6 okay so what we can do is come over here and put this as fill color and this is going to be AVO6 put this over here as the value and then copy this just so we can give another indication to an operator that this is going to be AVO6. So right here we put valve our AVO6 and then right here in the name we put AVO6 as well. Okay, so then that gives us that and we need to choose no border so that gives us everything right here we do have another valve all right so seven is right here so what we can do is scoot this back scoot this back right here and then come over here and make sure that this obviously fits the bill okay so it looks pretty similar to what we have going on here there's a lot more detail into the to the one i did up here but again avo5 is where avo5 is four is where four is two and one are where they're supposed to be six is down here and seven is over here so let's go ahead and change this to a to number seven and again value right so then let's copy this, paste, and let's put AVO7 right there. This is, it does already give us a seven. We're gonna put 07. So we can tell what is what inside of our, and again, no border, but we can tell what's what inside of our, our application, right? Okay, so 
keep in mind I'm doing this because up here I can see what's what, right? So this is AVO one, two, three, four, five, six, and then I have pump one and two. So pump two, I did not put O2, so let's put O2 and that solves that. All right, so as far as this goes, we do not need this at this point in time and we do not need this at this point in time and what i can do too is come over here and i'm going to save this being that i made a lot of edits and let's go ahead and start a batch now okay so at this point we're going to start a new batch uh, being that we we did have everything cut on so you can see oh well, we need to fix we need to fix this so apparently i did not put yep i come over here and put the wrong pump ip in here so it's good to, it's good you test everything and good good that you check everything you can see and i can change the pipe color and everything too but you can see that things that are active right the valve is active the pump's active the valve the valve over here is active feeding this tank you can see that it's it's going to pull out of the master batch it's going to pull out so much it's going to pull out a um I believe in the recipe I have right here in premix. If I come up top, it's going to be I think 200. Yeah. So right now it's one or it's 88. And again, you can see all this from here, right? So if I were to if I were to turn this on, you can see all the same things are co corresponding here. This is not hooked up though, so just keep that in mind. All right, so we can see that it's it's adding a hundred or two hundred, and as soon as it adds two hundred, what it's going to do is it's going to come over and cut on AVO two, and then AVO four, and then cut on the pump number two, and then it's going to feed in the corn syrup, which is a hundred. At that point in time, you know, then it will transition to the caffeine. That's the last portion of it, and then the mixing will start. So there's actually an agitator that's up here. And you can see that on here. I need to add the agitator next. But again, when it comes comes along to it, we're, you know, we're trying to start to mimic our actual batching station project that we did in Factory Talk SE. Um, so again, I did that project years ago. It's fully on YouTube. It's fully on a, another a course that I have. But when it comes down to it, you know, we're we're migrating our project and making a new one, right? Okay, so now it's turning on the corn syrup, which uh, of, again, this is gonna be about 100. Um, so let's look at the code and tell, let's look at the code and tell this is a, it's gonna actually equate to the flow meter, hits 100, and then it's gonna say added, and then it will be done. So let's go back to our code or our, our application. And then our application shows we are pulling out of the corn syrup tank and we are putting into the mixing tank. At this point in time, as soon as this hits 300, or roughly around, because if you think 200 from here and then and 100 from here, it should be 300. And then it's going to do 20 from the caffeine and then it will take over and start mixing. Again, I don't have the mixture added to it yet, but we will add things in the coming future. So what I'm going to do is probably allow this to, to get to where it adds all the components and then we're going to basically stop the batch. So just so we can show that what we've done so far is we've kind of redesigned, we got everything working. So now it's adding the, again, 20 pounds um, of the caffeine. So we're adding that in there and as soon as that's added in there, it will carry on to the next phase and the next phase is mixing. So again, I don't have the mixer on there, so let's just stop the batch. And then at that point in time, we can go ahead. That was the actual drive cutting on. You can probably hear that in the background. That's the PowerFlex drive cutting on actually doing the mixing. So just keep that in mind. This is a real application. And uh, when it comes down to it, I'm gonna hit save. Uh, we have everything working. Hopefully you learned a lot from that video. We'll see you guys on the next one.